Hi guys, welcome to Learn Kenyan Law with Wanjiko. This is going to be the platform where you're going to get all your legal information pertaining to what governs us here in Kenya. So um, today's episode is about ICT and the law. Basically, we're focusing on the laws that surround ICT. And the first, and the first thing that we're going to talk about is the right to privacy. And it's very important to note that privacy is divided into two. Under privacy, we have data protection and we have digital privacy. So privacy is a fundamental human right. And why do you think that privacy is a fundamental human right? Of course, the right to privacy supports other fundamental rights and freedom, which include the right to equal participation in political and public affairs, the freedom of opinion, the freedom of expression, the freedom of religion, the freedom of peaceful assembly, and the freedom of association. Privacy is also necessary to create zones to allow individuals and groups to be able to think and develop ideas and relationships. Of course, without the right of privacy, developing an idea will become a little bit, you know, tricky because privacy is really essential in such things, you know. Of course, in de developing the different kind of relationships that you develop becomes a little bit tricky as well. So the right to privacy is an essential requirement for the realization of the right to freedom of expression because, of course, States cannot ensure that individuals are able to freely seek and receive information or express themselves without respecting, protecting, and promoting their right to privacy. If you do not have the right to privacy, most definitely your freedom of expression is also non-existent, you know, because um, then how are you able to come out here and, you know, seek information and receive information and even express yourself if you feel like the state is going to, you know, the state is going to prosecute your is is really enclosed around um respecting your rights to privacy so of course it's a very essential requirement especially when it comes to the freedom of expression so the violations of the right to privacy can infringe people's freedom to formulate and express ideas as i have said of course the violation of the right to privacy can also infringe the freedom of freely communicating associating with others Without the right of privacy, you are, you won't be able to organize a petition, you know, to organize to petition the government for change. If there's violation of the right to privacy as well, practice, the freedom of practicing your religion is also undermined, you know. Of course, um, the press is also not going to be able to operate without the, if there's violation of the right to privacy. As well, another important thing to note is that uh, whistleblowers will be unable to hold the, the people in power accountable because, of course, they fear retaliation. Because then again, there is no right to privacy. So if there's the violations of the right to privacy, it infringes on the different kind of freedoms that are there. So we're going to talk about the domestic laws relating to the right to privacy or right of privacy in Kenya. And the first one, of course, is going to be the Constitution of Kenya. And the Constitution of Kenya protects the right to privacy by enshrining international law in domestic law and it explicitly protects privacy as a fundamental right. Under Article 2.5, it provides that the general rules of international law shall form part of the law of Kenya. And also under Article 2.6, it provides that any treaty or convention ratified by Kenya shall form part of the law of Kenya under the constitution. So some of these treaties include like, you know, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and also the International Convention of, of Civil and Political Rights. So um, Article 35 provides that every person has the right to privacy, which include the right not to have their, prop their person, home or property searched, their possession seized, information relating to their family or private affairs unnecessarily required or revealed, the privacy of their communications infringed. So Article 31 is very clear in terms of privacy. You know, every person has the right to privacy and it includes the right not to. Of course, someone should not stop on stop you on the street and wants to search your home, you know, without some reasoning, you know. And of course, your possessions should not be seized. Your information, especially uh, even your information regarding your family, your private information, it should not be unnecessarily revealed, you know, if I am a celebrity doesn't mean that my private information and my private affairs should be revealed unnecessarily. Of course, the privacy of your communication should not be infringed. And this is very clear in terms of maybe the 
provider the telecommunication providers of our you know our mobile phones they should not like unnecessarily share our communication details or or let people tap our phones without like some legitimate reasoning you know but however it's important to note that um article 24 um talks about everything um in terms of the limitation of the rights and fundamental freedoms but um we're going to talk about the limitation later on so let us dive in and also talk about the different kind of statutes our domestic laws that are still um you know vigilant in terms of protecting our privacy we have the Kenya Information and Communication Act which prohibits the interception and disclosure of information you know article 31 penalizes the unlawful interception and disclosure of communications by telecommunication providers we have read what article 31 has said and it's really clear in terms of no one should unnecessarily you know reveal your communication with people or even tap your phone unnecessarily section 83w of the Kenya Information and Communication Act also criminalizes an authorized access to and interception of a computer service by an individual this is to say if someone takes your computer or rather hacks your computer from wherever it is they are it is it's a crime definitely because then it goes against your rights to privacy so we're also going to talk about the Kenya information and communication regulations of 2010 which is more of the consumer protection it protects the subscribers from interceptions of their communication so of course this this means that um uh, our telecommunication providers are not allowed to you know allow tapping or rather listening you know or interception or surveillance of our communication unnecessarily you know you, you as it protects you as the subscriber you as the customer of safari com you as the customer of airtel you're protected against um, people are necessarily intercepting your communication. So we're also going to go to the international obligations relating to the right of privacy. We have we have said that under Article two five and two six of the Constitution, um, international law applies to us as Kenyan. And of course, some of the um, international obligation in re that relates to privacy is there. Um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights and International Convention of Civil and Political Rights. So, under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 12 is very clear and it states that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence, nor to attack upon his honor and reputation. Everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such interference or attack. We continue as well, International Covenant on Civil and Political political rights talks about the exact thing as well in article 17 which says that no one shall be subjected to arbitrary or unlawful interference with his family with his privacy family home or correspondence nor to unlawful attack on his honor and reputation and that everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such interference or attacks so what we are gathering from the ICCPR and the UND, UDHR, of course, is that it's really vigilant on the on protecting people's rights. Yeah, and Kenya being a party to some of these international, you know, treaties, then the respect of privacy is really high. You know, we're also going to talk about um some of the few cases that have happened here in Kenya and they have gone to court. And you know, the courts the courts have been really vigilant on 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 you know saying that consent you know we're talking about consent before revealing people's information confidentiality also should be respected we have this famous case of Opia Omutata versus the PAK and this include this was a case of um the installation of the DAS and of course the court ruled that that was unconstitutional you know and of course yes we have a limitation of these rights as I have said the limitation of these rights are really clear under article 24 the court was saying the limitation of a right to privacy should be objective and it should not be subjective. And then we also have another case, um, of course, the Kenya Human Rights Commission versus the CAK as well. This was the same ruling. And we also have international cases that are also important um, in terms of their right to privacy. We have the Naomi Campbell case versus the Mira Group newspaper. And the court was really clear. The court was saying that Consent is essential and confidentiality is an element of digital privacy. You know, right now our digital presence is really more than what it used to be um, probably 10 years ago. 
of course confidentiality is a very big element when it comes to digital privacy you're not just allowed to see me somewhere and just take photos and upload them unnecessarily you know we're having a lot of cases especially here locally where people are you know really revealing people's information people's private information and people family information unnecessarily you know we also have another case of douglas versus law limited um, this was a very important case because this case was about um, a private wedding. You know, the way um, you're invited to a wedding and then you're told um, photos are not allowed. Actually, you know, sometimes in some weddings, you're even told that um, you should not even come with your phone or leave your phone in the car, you know, just for, for, for ensuring that there's the right of privacy. The court was really clear. Um, someone went to Douglas's um, wedding and they shared the photos. To a newspaper and so douglas went to report you know in a court or in a in, a, in the court and so under douglas versus the law limited the court was really clear and they were saying digital privacy differs from one case to another and confidentiality is an element of privacy you know we have said that um over and over again another important case is the yf versus Turkey. this was where um someone's hiv information was required and it was not even relevant to the circumstances and the case was all the court was also very clear it was saying data collected should be adequate relevant and it should not be in excess for crying out loud you know um, but as i was saying this right is not absolute it is definitely subject to some limitations and of course in our next lesson we're going to talk about the limitation of the of, of the right to privacy which are some of the law that limit this right to privacy we're going to talk more and more about it. And when it comes to privacy, where there is a right, there is a duty. And where there is a duty, there is definitely a right. It's always important to remember that in privacy, where there is a right, there is a duty. And of course, in privacy, where there is a duty, there is a right. So as a person, as a Kenyan citizen, it's important for you to respect people's privacy. Um, it's, it's also important for you to know your rights, you know. We've spoken about it for that one. It's very crucial. So our right to privacy is um, well, well articulated in Article 31 of the Indian Constitution. So feel free to subscribe in this channel. Feel free to follow us for more legal information. And we will always be keeping you updated on legal issues, especially what is happening here in Kenya. We appreciate you. See you in our next lesson. Bye.